You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. All right. You know the drill. K100, you bastards. What up? Uh, we are live right now at the Best End Brewery, all right? We're chopping it up for uh, Brews and Grooves. This is Honey. She's performing tonight, all right? And she's going to talk to you guys and tell you, tell you guys all about everything that she's got going on. First and foremost, I just want you to go ahead and introduce yourself to our audience that's listening, uh, giving your social media, all that kind of yes, stuff, everything. Go ahead. Yes, my name is Honey. I make Honey Coated Music. I'm from a small town in North Carolina called Rocky Mountain 252 Stand Up. All right. Um, I make R&B music. Uh, tonight, I'm going to perform some of my new stuff. All right. Uh, so y'all get to hear me. Uh, you can find me on social media at Honey Coated Music everywhere. And check me out. I got some stuff streaming already. All right. So are you living in Atlanta now or are you just kind of down here for the show? No, I live in Atlanta. You I've been here Atlanta? for three years. Three years. How you like it? I love it here. You love it? I love it All here. right. As an artist, you know, it's got it's got everything that you, Woo. you know, that you need. You got the studios, you got the producers, you got the venues, yeah. everything. Kind of different from where you're from, right? Yes. Talk to me a little bit about the difference in maybe the support and the grind coming from your hometown and then go over here into Atlanta. Like, what's the big difference? Give me one, like, major difference. Um, accessibility is a big difference because um, there's not much success from North Carolina. I mean, we have the baby now, we have yeah. J. Cole and Rhapsody, but that's like three out of like Atlanta got everybody. <laughs> like, so when you come down uh, here, it's like, yeah, it's accessible, but there's a lot of competition. Yeah, so true. it's something to keep you on your toes and like you really have to work hard down here. So, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to hearing some of this music tonight. Hopefully, uh, we can get all of these interviews done. I can go over there and check it out. Yeah. Uh, des- describe your music to us a little bit because I haven't heard it yet. This is the first time we got a chance to chop it up over here on K100 Radio with Honey. All right, welcome to the show. So listen, I, and I've never heard the music, so mm-hmm. give me a little bit. Tell me what, we, what people are going to hear when they actually uh, tune in to you. Um, so I will tell you, I'm inspired a lot by, um, like, Erica Badu and Jill Scott. I love Janae Aiko. So you get a little uh, new age blend uh-huh. of, like, some uh, real R&B soul type of, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the real R&B the made me chuckle. The real R&B. Yeah, because, no, listen, R&B has, I don't want to say fallen off, but that real soulful, mm-hmm. that real just uh, love music mm-hmm. is was gone for a minute. There's a couple people bringing it back. Like, you named a couple of names yeah. trying to bring it back, but... You know, it, it kind of just kind of went away. Like, yeah. everybody was kind of like R&B rappers or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think the, the lines got a little blurred between rap and R&B for uh-huh. a little while. But hopefully, you know, some of the newer artists, like you got her and people like that, they're starting to kind of sing a little more and, like, really show off their vocals a lot more. Right, and I think important. that's important in R&B. I mean, can't, my, if you can't sing, I can't. <laughs> I just can't get into R&B singers who really can't sing. Like, yeah. what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you got you said you got music out streaming. You got a single out videos. What up? Yeah, I have two singles out. One is called Energy, and uh-huh. the other one is called Carolina Roses, which is the ode to my hometown. All right. Um, but, yeah, those are the two songs I have streaming. And then in the next couple weeks, I'm uh, planning on dropping some new stuff. I'm working on an EP. So I got some big things going on this year. Carolina Roses. I want to hear that. I want to see what's yeah. going on with that. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that one tonight. I'm going to do oh, something new tonight. Okay. But I have done that one. So if you go to my Instagram, you can see me perform that somewhere else. I've done it a few times. So. All right. So uh, how did you actually get hooked up uh, with Bruise and Grooves and Ren and ended up on this stage tonight? Man, I think um, we all... A lot of the people who I interact with, we all kind of intermingle in different groups. And uh-huh. so I've met different people through other friends or other places that I've performed. And so he reached out to me and uh, asked me would I come through. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to come back out. So Absolutely. So you've been here before? You done boozing? I came to, um, well, last time I was here, I didn't plan on performing, but I ended up uh, helping out a friend who was performing. Oh, okay. Uh, so I sang that night too. But yeah, I've been here at least one time before. All right. Well, good. Listen, I'm looking forward to checking out some of this music. You know what I'm saying? Honey, give out that social media, Instagram, website, everything, so people can find you again. Yes, everything is Honey Coded Music, and everything is spelled correctly because I went to school for English. <laughs> How did you, you went to school for English, how did you end up being an R&B artist? Uh, I write music. Yeah? Just, yeah, so it, was, it just, it, I've passion. always loved music. Uh, my mom sang to me when I was young, uh-huh. so um, I had a love for it, and then when I went to school to learn, uh, I went for creative writing. Okay. So um, songwriting, just naturally, poetry. Yeah. So I suspect to hear some deep, 
you know, just not no cookie cutter vocals, and you know, just really just, you know, some real music. Some, I something. have some of that, but tonight I came to entertain. So. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no, it's listen, some of those songs, you know, yeah. are necessary for the project to make it well rounded. Yeah. I understand it, but you know, some of the songs, you kind of just want to touch on something that, you know, yeah. personal songs and stuff like that. Those are the, that's kind of RB stuff that I actually yeah. personally like. You know and it is there. It's definitely there for me. Um, I had to throw this song in there. It's got some lyrical content, so the, the wording is very well put. Uh, I don't like to do the raunchy stuff. Like, you know, I like to keep it classy. Well, My well, mama <laughs> might be watching, you know. Oh, uh, so, so. I mean, cause you named Janae Aku and she be she be talking that she, she be talking does, she be talking but it's, it's sexual sensual respectful sensual. right respectfully <laughs> yeah respectfully. <laughs> she I mean pussy fairy is like you know you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying you so, got me there I mean all right <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah but okay, listen. As a, as, a, as a heterosexual male, we love that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get know. a little bit of that. It's not quite as far as Pussy Fairy. It's about like an eight. Yeah. Okay. It's an eight. It's an eight. Yeah. Right. Well, listen, it's good to meet you. Nice um, to meet you. Looking forward to hearing the music. All right. Uh, thank you for coming over here, chopping it up with K100 yeah. Radio. Uh, this, if you're already watching this interview, you are already on YouTube because that's what this interview is going to be. So you got any videos out that they can check out? I'm in a few videos, but mine have not, I have not worked on my own, but we're coming. We're coming. We got All an right. EP dropping this summer, so we should definitely have some visuals for you guys. All right, honey. Well, listen, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in over here, rocking up with, us, with K1 Radio. Um, like I said, I know you're going to rip the stage tonight. Your, your voice sounds like you can sing. It's so yes, high pitched. I love that. You know that. what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you can already sing. Mm -hmm. I think I got a little Michelle going on. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we outside, by the way. So you got lights and stuff. Element. Yeah, we outside. This is uh a whole vibe out here, you know what I'm saying? But listen, thank you for uh, tuning in uh, to K1's Radio. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out Honey's music. She's got songs out streaming, and uh, hopefully we can catch some footage over here uh, for performing tonight. This is K1's Radio. You know the drill, man. We at Bruising and Grooves. Shout out to Best in Brewery, you dig? You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. K100, you bastards. K100, you bastards.